Dear AM fans, I'm really excited because I'm standing in front of the newest generation BMW M2. And it's got an extroverted, bold, unique design. And also, it is a new benchmark in its segment regarding vehicle dynamics. 460 horsepower, 550 Newton meters, zero to 100 in just 4.1 seconds, and an optional limited top speed of 285 kilometers per hour, in combination with an optional manual transmission and rear wheel drive, makes this a really, really great car. Now I'd say let's go for a walk around the car. Now, if we come to the front, it is obvious that this car has quite a broad stance. And that comes from the fact that we've broadened the track and with that, the stance of this car by 60 millimeters in regards to the two series base car. And also what you can see is a lot of air intake and an M specific kidney right here, but also down here and on the sides, a lot of air openings to cool down these 460 horsepower that come from our six cylinder inline engine. Under the hood, we have a lot of reinforcements to the chassis to exactly get this precision in driving, this agility and this feel that we know from race cars into the M2 in combination with the electronically controlled suspension system. It is just the perfect match. Now let's take a look at the side. And if we take a look at the front wheel to start off with, it is a 19 inch M specific wheel in the front and we have a 20 inch wheel at the rear. M alloy double spoke jet black wheels. And behind that you can see a compound brake system, brake disc, and also a six piston caliper in red. And if we took another look at the side of this car, there's another element that is typical M, which is the double spoke outside mirror fitted onto this car. And last but not least, there's something else I'd like to show you. For the first time in an M2, we now have an optional carbon fiber roof on top. Now that's about the side and the roof of the car. I'd say let's go there where the driver is most of the time to the interior. Come on and join me. Now, if you look into the interior, it is obvious that we have a lot of M-specific elements in the interior. First of all, the M colors in the door panel, but also the very nice curved display in front of me with the typical M digits and the typical M man-machine interface that you work with when you're driving. Also, which is new to the M2, we have an M steering wheel with an M1 and M2 setup button. And also on the middle console, we have two new switches. One of that is of course the M setup button where you then can change the settings for engine, transmission, suspension system, steering and brakes. So that gives you the perfect setup and you can pre-select it on the two buttons and then go and drive. The other thing is the second new button is the M mode button on the middle console. The M mode allows you to toggle between three modes. One is road, the second one is sport for sportier driving. And if you go to track, all the driver assist systems are deactivated. And also the display on the right side is deactivated so that you can on the track really concentrate on the RPMs and the speed and nothing else. Now, what is not mentioned yet, but quite obvious, are the seats. We have three different seats in the car, two as an option, and the most popular option is the one that is fitted in this car. It is the M carbon fiber bucket seat. By the way, it saves 5.4 kilograms per seat. Now I'd say that is a lot of Mness in the interior as well. And there is one part of the car we didn't look at and that's where we're going right now. Let's go and take a look at the rear. What started out with a wow element in the front 
is really a wow moment at the rear. Because what you obviously see is the broad stance also in the rear of this car. And this broad stance is also a stronger connection to the road leading to perfect vehicle dynamics. It's got a very strong rear fender design-wise with the typical elements like the vertical integrated reflectors on the outside and also a very, very strong rear diffuser with a typical dual ta tailpipe at each side and the rear. Now, if we add up everything we've just seen from this new generation M2, it really makes clear again why M is the most powerful letter in the world.